Following high school, Ortega was finding himself in trouble, getting in trouble on the streets until he found MMA, and it changed his whole life around for the better. What an inspirational young man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our light heavyweight bout. First up in the blue corner, he's 41 years old and weighs 206 pounds. His professional record is 0-1. Once in a Dragon House event as an amateur, he got a six-second knockout. He fights for El Nino Training Center in San Francisco. Myron the Hitman Smith! And in the red corner, wearing, weighing 204 pounds, 30 years old, with a pro MMA record of two wins and one loss, fighting for Smash Gym in San Jose, Michael Ortega! Your referee for this match is Milton Wallace. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the instructions in the back. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves if you like. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I wouldn't blink if I were you. These are two big, heavy-handed fighters ready to rock. Myron tried to come out and touch hands. Ortega does not have a lack of training partners as he trains with the likes of Luke Rockhold, Kane Velasquez, and Kung Lee. Smith doesn't either as he works with Gilbert Melendez and nice the notorious side scrap pack at El Nino Training Center. We last saw Ortega at Dragon House 17 where he fought for the Dragon House Light Heavyweight Championship in a very competitive fight against Marcel Fortuna, who by the way is defending his title tonight, so stick around for that one. Yeah, and about that six second uh, knockout that Myron Smith holds, that was about three years ago in the amateur bracket. It was his amateur debut, and that is not without controversy. It, it uh, appears that to some that the fighter was trying to touch gloves as the bell rang, and Myron Smith either didn't see it and uh, threw an overhand right and clear knocked out that guy in six seconds. There's a lot of different uh, uh, rumors about that on YouTube. What's your opinion on that? Should a fighter always be ready to defend himself at all times? Uh, exactly. It's very subjective. Uh, when you're in there fighting, your only objective is to fight. You know, uh, everything else is is up up to you whether you want to touch gloves or not. But all that controversy aside, Myron holds serious knockout power. He has one punch knockout power, and he's as strong as an ox. You can follow him on social media and see clips of him just tossing iron in the air like it's nothing. And on also one of his uh, amateur fights, he picked up his opponent and body slammed him like Hulk Hogan in his prime. So yes, Myron is a huge 205, a 205er who has greatly improved his all-around skills. Smith's grappling has improved tremendously, excuse me, tremendously over the years to supplement his one-punch knockout power. But carrying around all that heavy muscle, you need a heavy gas tank. So we'll see if his cardio is up to par with his physique. These fighters are still filling each other out. Myron lands a body kick. Could have been low. Ortega was actually a Camel State champion in 2011. He comes from a wrestling background. He has very dangerous strikes after training with Kung Lee, Luke Rockhold, and Cain Velasquez. Myron getting a warning by referee Milton for uh, a low kick. Uh, that was the second one in uh, one minute of the first round. It was hard to see, but I don't, I don't think Smith threw that kick with bad intentions. No, it happens, especially in MMA. Again, Ooh, that has some serious power behind it. This is, again, a 205 fight here. Excuse me, a 205 weight class fight here at Dragon House 19. Myron, the hitman Smith, is in the black shorts. 
and Michael Ortega is in the white shorts. Myron Smith is representing El Nino Training Center, and Michael Ortega is fighting for Smash Gyms. Oh, caught the kick and took him down as he telegraphed that kick too many times. Myron ends up on top. Yeah, that's not where you want to be with a big, strong guy like that on top of you. But he's holding on to that neck. We'll see how Myron's ground game has improved. But being on top like that. You know what's interesting, Ronnie? Michael Ortega actually broke his hand in his last fight against Marcel Fortuna at Dragon House 17. I, I'm just very curious to see how that's going to affect him in his fight here today. Myron doing well on top, controlling him, putting all that weight on him. Myron waiting yesterday at 205. I wouldn't doubt it if he was about 225 today. Yeah, at least 205. I mean, this guy is huge. He would make a good size heavyweight, but he's here fighting at 205. Both these fighters could have fought at heavyweight. Michael Ortega spent most of his, his whole amateur career fighting at heavyweight. If I were them, I would have just agreed to no way good and fight at heavyweight. <laughs> you know, Myron Smith is such an inspiration. Fighting at 41 years old, I look to, I mean, I hope to look <laughs> half as good as he does by the time I'm 40. He has a lot of fans here coming in from all over the Bay Area. Myron hails from Oakland. He's very proud to help out his community members, as you can see. If you follow him on social media, he's a class act, and he's looking to land some hard ground and pound shots here late in the first. And Myron's gonna finish the round on top. I give that round to Myron. Myron looked good to me. Good first round for Myron the Hitman Smith. Ronnie, if you're Michael Ortega, what do you have to do to come out at the second round and get back on track? Well, you can't let Myron get on top of him. If he's gonna go for a takedown, he's gotta make sure he gets that takedown. Myron's strong enough to press him up against the cage, and uh, he keeps going for that inside uh, leg kick that was an accidental throwing shot. So if Michael Ortega were to catch that again as he did in the first round and take him down and keep him on top of him, then it might be a different story. But well good said, point, Ronnie. Myron at 41 years old is looking strong. I mean, they say your strength slowly starts declining after the age of 25. But with Myron, you can't even tell. He's as strong as a, as a bull. Well, your power is usually the last thing to go. Myron had a hard uh, pro debut against another big, powerful guy. But, uh... Here we go, second round. Michael Ortega needs to change things up. In between rounds, we saw the legendary Eugene Jackson, MMA pioneer in the corner of Michael Ortega, along with James Terry, a strike force and Bellator veteran. Yeah, I gotta stay tuned for Eugene Jackson's son, Nico Jackson, coming up in the later main card. Myron Sena Ortega. Come that on, was close. Fight. That but that hurt him, that hurt him. Myron going in for the attack. Myron quick to go for the kill. Looking for a single Using leg. all power. As I told you, Myron slams him on his head. Using that brute strength. He was quick to change his name to Myron the Slam Man. Yeah, I mean, he has a career in professional wrestling with those body slams after he decides to hang it up in MMA. It looks like he might give up that Kimura. Going for a Kimura against such a powerful guy is not he that needs, easy. He needs to tuck it in as, as he's, he's guy. rolling a bicep curl. Or take it close. He's either going to give up the position. He's going to either give up the position or he's going to tap. He gave up the position. Very nice sweep. Myron, quick. But Ortega ends up on top in the scramble. What a fight! Reversal after reversal. 
and Myron powers out. Myron needs to get up, escape, control the hands, get some hip separation, and My take this fight back on the feet. Michael Taylor got him pinned against the cage. He should secure a leg vine. Or just hold him there. He's going to hold him. Looks like Myron's, Myron's looking for a way out. Milton's about to stop it. Myron looks gassed after that slim. He should have continued to punch. If I were Michael Ortega, I would, I would finish the fight right here. Referee Milton Wallace is watching very closely. Michael Ortega said, said something to Milton. I believe he said that he, that Myron, that Myron tapped. I did not see that. Myron quick to get out and get up. Look for Myron to go for a big, big slam here against the cage as he leans on Michael Ortega. As I said, that gas tank needs to be full when you're carrying all that muscle. That power slam was impressive, it was strong and well executed, but it takes a lot out of your gas tank. Very well said, Ronnie. I'm looking forward to see how Myron responds after fatigue has kicked in. Myron winning the fight here as he has him pinned against the cage. Milton giving him a warning for putting his fingers in the cage. I think referee Milton Wallace is watching very closely, looking for inactivity. He might separate these fighters any second there, here. We are packed here at the Dragon House event here in Keysar Pavilion. I don't have the actual numbers, but it seems to be sold out around here. Everybody on their feet. Smith is doing a great job here in the second round. Yeah, he's able to catch his breath as he pins him there against the cage. And he still attempted to change levels there. Myron fighting a smart fight. As I said earlier, Myron Smith is an inspiration to many of the youth in East Oakland. He says that many of his friends that he's grown up with is either in jail or dead. And he's here to show the kids of East Oakland that there is another way besides getting in trouble. It's just a class act. He's looking to get his first professional MMA victory here against a very tough seasoned opponent in Michael Ortega. Yeah, yeah. Myron Smith pressing the pace and, and winning against uh, a seasoned fighter in Michael Ortega. This is no pushover fight. There are two big, strong guys that are here to bang. There's not much action here. I'm wondering when Mil the referee, Milton Wallace, is going to separate these two fighters. Yeah, good point. He's giving them a chance to catch their breath, both fighters. And the round will end with Myron pinning Ortega against the cage. Interesting second round. I would have to give that round to Myron. He ended up, excuse me, he ended that round standing over Ortega as he leaned on him and put his weight on him against the cage. But who knows, you know, the judges, it's up to them. It's not our job to judge the fight, but look for Ortega to come out swinging for the fences here in the third round. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the third and final round. Myron touches gloves, shows good sportsmanship here. Look for Ortega to land some hard strikes on the feet. He might expect that he's down 
two rounds to none. That's pretty subjective, I'm not sure, but I know he does not want to leave it to the judges. Neither does Myron the Hitman Smith. There's that Sanchao background of Michael Ortega turning with the likes of Kung Lee and Luke Rocco. That last round was hard to judge because I believe Michael Ortega had him for a second up against pinned against the cage, landing those heavy blows. Milton was quick to stop it. Would have well, was looking to stop it, but Myron quickly turned it around and finished the last minute or two of the round with him pinned against the cage. What do you think? Uh, Myron is looking really good. Um, you know, I just have to point out, after he landed two inside leg kicks, I noticed that Ortega switched his stances. I'm not sure if Myron hurt him with those leg kicks, but I can s probably safely say that Ortega is feeling these strikes from Myron. Yeah, you can see on the inside left knee, the red welt on Ortega. We heard that one. You do not want to blink, because any second, Smith can land a one-push oh. knockout. But Ortega has some knockout of his own. Excuse me, knockout power of his own. Working that underhook. It's just so hard on such a powerful opponent. Mike Ortega trying to work that underhook to turn him around. Yeah, it's going to be really, really difficult to get a guy like Myron off of you. Yeah. I mean, he's as strong as an ox. Referee Millen Wallace is Should do something. very closely. He might, st he might separate these fighters any second. Myron has a hold of a single. Let's see if he can run the pipe. And Going for another slam. Takedown. That looks like it was, it was gonna take the last bit of gas. The fans are booing, but this is a very exhausting fight. Having two big guys grapple against the cage like this. Yeah, Myron has uh, greatly improved from the last time we saw him here at the Dragon House, at the Dragon House um, cage. But he's using all power right there, driving and pressing him against the cage. That's wearing on his legs, wearing on everything. He keeps going for that single, but now he now he's wrapping, trying to get his hands on that double. I'm wondering why the referee, I'm wondering why it took so long to separate these fighters. But here we go, late in the third round. Look for Ortega to explode and land, to look to land some of his signature strikes. But again, watch out for Myron's knockout power. Michael Ortega looks to be gassed. That was a sloppy punch. And this is not where he wants to be at the end of the fight with Myron hands us, what's his name? Myron Hitman Smith on top of him. If he ends the round like this, Myron will secure a victory. All that training with Gilbert Melendez and the notorious scrap pack has evidently paid off for Myron. He's made tremendous improvements. Even at the age of 41, he still surprises me how much better he gets every day. As you can see, as he's on his way to winning a decision victory here at Dragon House 19. This must be very exhausting for both fighters. It's, it may be hard to tell watching at home, but if you've never fought in the cage before, fights like this, where they're rolling around on the ground, grappling each other, both fighters putting weight on each other, it can be very, very tiring. Especially late in the third round. It's not just tiring, it's exhausting. There, when you're on the bottom like that, with a big, strong, heavy guy, it's hard to breathe. And that's three rounds. I give that fight to Myron Smith. Great performance by Myron Smith. 
That was one hell of an effort by Mark Michael Ortega coming off of his loss at Dragon House 17 after breaking his hand. Both fighters should hold their head up high. That was one hell of a fight. We turn it over to John Rahoy, our MC, to announce the winner of this light heavyweight fight here at Dragon House 19. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have handed down a unanimous decision. I'm hot, dude. The scores were 30, 27, 30, 27, 29, 28 in favor of the winner in the blue corner, Marlon the Hitman Smith.